Welcome back everyone, it's j 7 Jace bringing you the second Rendezvous Mission, Chicken Race. Now, this is probably one of the easier Rendezvous missions, or easiest, because all the enemies are zombie targets, or undead. So what you can do is just throw Phoenix Downs at them. That's probably the strategy, or the way to go, if you're tackling the fight early on in the game and of course me um, I got to use my knights so Ivelisse's next top model um, I got a controller for this one and she's one of the best characters for this because she can take out multiple targets hollowed bolt and maybe she is the best character in rendezvous possibly because of ribbon and Tina Rouge so Hey, but she'll get more spotlight and love in the other missions, so I know everyone likes that. So you'll be seeing her more. And I'm just showing you the builds and setups I have for the characters. And Beowulf right here. So Beowulf does have very high faith. So depending if you want to use him in this battle, I highly recommend you using break on the time mage or the black mage and the judgment bolt gets rid of the knight so nothing can really harm us here like this fight we have escutcheon escutcheon 2 we have a solid shield and I just break the knight here and also a reminder, if your equipment gets stolen or broken, don't worry. It's going to come back in your inventory after the battle is complete, whether you win or lose it. In the Lion War mod, though, it doesn't. What you have to do is install the Quality of Life mod. And you can buy it back from the Poacher's Den or Fur Shop, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a hot minute since I played the Lion War. But it's also fantastic. You won't have to go through connecting two different devices. But this is the real rendezvous experience. Okay, so that night, he attacked me with what looks like a flail. So I do check on that later. But that's also interesting that knights, they can only equip swords and knight swords. But in reality, they use, you know, a variety of weapons. Maybe they did that for balance purposes. Or so the jobs have certain roles, which I can get behind because games shouldn't be, I don't know, realistic. Then Call of Duty, you know, no one's going to be a nuke, getting tactical nukes, you know, 25 killstreaks all the time. So the time age um, misses on the ghost there and yeah he has a morning star so sometimes with these actually any enemy even the single player um the developers did have some creative liberties i think mainly like yeah they have ribbon in their accessory slot but that's like a headpiece and wow that's a four four enemies ko'd on that hollow belt and i'm just gonna wait in place so to conserve more CT, don't move all the time. Like, sometimes, depending on the situation, you have to move, or I recommend moving to avoid attacks, or to use items on an ally, or to reach an enemy. That's fine too, but just remember, waiting in place helps conserve your CT, and sometimes not taking an action is the best action. Like, that was so helpful when I was doing my Dark Knight SSCC and my Zalbag Arc Knight SSCC, which I need to continue. So if you're attempting to do a harder fight with restrictions or limitations, I just recommend sometimes waiting in place or not taking an action. You might need that turn um, a little bit down the line later. So that ectoplasm did hit pretty hard, as I also have vehemence on a grass, but you know the hollowed bolt, or I used the binary nation here, um, 
can't, I can't just be using Hollow Ball all the time. It's really stale. And while I do like the way it looks, I just... Divine Ruination or the PS1 players, they're going to know the name. A Holy Explosion. Back then when I was a kid, I didn't know about, you know, hitting select and you could see more info about the abilities. I was like, Holy Explosion. Like, I thought this thing was going to attack the whole map. You know what I mean? Like, all the enemies. So, I was a little disappointed that it only attacked in a straight line. It had good range and it was the strongest in terms of damage of the Holy Sword abilities, but I was a little disappointed um, with what it turned out to be. But I still love it. Um, that was the last of the enemies. The archer gets KO'd. We have three uh, gnome statues on the Beowulf side. So this is how you tackle chicken race. Um, this is one of the many infinite strategies you can do and use here. I'm just showing you how I tackled it. So Beowulf and Agrius. Um, we can use Orlando too. And Canvas with Phoenix down. So, again, we're on the treasure wheel. Nothing that worth it. Even the Goku pull. We, it's not like Goku strong and DBC. But, yeah. Here's how to five-star chicken race. Play one on each side. And here's our rating. So, hopefully this helped you out with chicken race. If you're struggling, just use these characters and get the best items and get max level and you'll have no struggle at all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with more Rendezvous.